Some people try to go out of their way and make life worse for you, such as spamming your Discord bot until it crashes and breaks, or just, I guess, trolling people on the internet. There's a good chance that there's actually a mean comment under this video. I've gotten over it, and I don't really care about it. But there's a way you can stop that happening to your bot. Let me introduce you checks. What checks do is before a command runs, they check if whatever argument that you put in there is true. If it is, then the command will run like regular, but if it's not, then it won't. Now, this little thing can be used to make an excellent blacklist commands. You could just have it check if the user is blacklisted or not, and that's it. It won't run the command if he is, and if he's not, then it won't. Or, I guess, it will. So, I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how you can do exactly that, and how you can actually take it a step further if you'd like to. So, let's get straight into the video. Here I am in my Visual Studio Code, and basically, all I'm going to do is create a function. Now, I'm going to do def, glow is bad, and then pass in ctx. And inside here, we're going to do if ctx.author.id equals, we're going to leave this blank for now, just keep it like, keep id in there, and then have ctx.send, or not ctx.send, return false. Under there, we're going to put in return true. And this, you might be wondering, why do you have, why is this a synchronous function, and why do you have ctx in it? You don't have the decorator either. And that's because this is what we're going to be into putting into the check decorator. You're not going to make it asynchronous or else it's going to break. And I know I'm not supposed to put a wait, and so I did. You're not going to do that. Just letting you know. And ctx is required so we can grab the author's ID. Then, if we go down, we can actually create our command. So we're just going to create a sample test command. by just doing client.command async def and let's just say hello pass in ctx inside here to await ctx.send and we can reply back again hello just like so all this is doing is it's a sample hello command i'm sure you've made a command before and that's exactly what we did now we're going to enter the check decorator inside this command, and that's where things get interesting. You can click enter here and start typing in your decorator. So do app and then do commands.check. And now inside here, we're going to put in whatever the name of your function is. So mine is glow is bad. bad. And what we want this to do is it will check your ID. And if your ID is the same as my ID, which is 744 something something something, then it'll return false, meaning the command will not run. If it is not my ID, I guess. So let's say you're one of the admins on my server who does not have my ID because you don't. It's just one person thing. It's going to return true. And this if statement will not run. And I guess it will just proceed with the command. I went into Discord and I grabbed my ID here. If you can just right click on the user and there should be something called copy ID. If that's not found, then go into accessibility settings and you could click enable developer mode because you will need that. Now, after I run my bot, you can see that Chrome is online. And if I do the help, you can see that the command hasn't registered for some reason, which I am slightly confused about that, but it is there. So if we do the hello, it won't run and that's because actually you should see over here my terminal and you'll see that says next errors check failure and then the check functions for the command hello failed and that's because the check that we added into it has not run properly because it returned false and that's what will happen now you can add an error handler for this and I have gone over that in my error handlers video, so you can check that out. You just have check failure as your attribute. But now you may be saying, okay, Glow, you can add 
hello or a check command to one command but how about if you add it to all the commands say for blacklist you will have to add it for every single command because you don't want to i mean yeah you can blacklist some users from certain commands but it's better if you blacklist them from all of them so over here on the right hand side you should see an example for that and what you're gonna what you do for that instead is you add the decorator saying dot dot check and this is probably going to be correct because it's supposed to be client but this is off the top of my head here and then you would have to just add whatever your function is so i would have something like def hello is bad ctx and then whatever you want to write here so dot 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 and yeah that's what it would be and this would automatically apply to everything no need for this decorator as long as you have just this one couple lines of code. But that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you learned something and you're going to use this information to take your bot further and even better. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Also, now I'm pleading for my finger.